Summer at Avenida Houston is jam-packed with entertainment, sports, music, food, art, markets, and the list goes on and on and on. But there's also a great way to explore the Avenida that'll help you get fit while at the same time having a bit of fun. Yeah, did you know that you can actually easily rent a bike from Houston B-Cycle? It is a bike share program that's really convenient. It's budget friendly. I mean, it, it, it's so much fun. Here with more on B-Cycle is Kristen Dietz. Good Hello. to have you. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> now, a lot of people are probably familiar uh, with the kiosks because you see yeah, B-Cycle yeah, so all around the city. Yeah, so you may have seen one of our kiosks around Houston. Uh, we've got 46 right now, but we're actually expanding the program, so that number is growing every single day. Love we've that. got 350 bikes currently, but again, that number is also growing. But you can walk up to any kiosk, swipe your credit card, and for just $3, rent the bike for 30 minutes at a time. And we're seeing the map right now, those little bees that just popped up, yeah, that, those represent all the kiosks. That right? shows just a handful of the kiosks. If you download our mobile app, it's a free app, and it shows you where every single station is around town. Do you have to be a member, and how much does that cost? So you can be a member if you want. There's a walk-up user option that's only the $3 per 30 minutes that anyone can do, or you can be a member for only uh, $9 a month or $99 a year, and that allows you unlimited 60-minute trips for the length of your membership. You know what? Honestly, it's it's such an amazing service. The yeah. very first shoot that I did for Houston Life, we rented a B-Cycle and rode through through Buffalo Bayou. And I spandex? think it's so great. In, in I was wearing spandex. It was really great. Uh, it felt yeah, great. and actually, the, um, uh, the Lamar Cycle Track connects you all the way from Avenida and Discovery Green all the way to Buffalo Bayou Park, which is one of our uh, busiest places to get bikes rented. And also, as Houston continues expanding its bike trails, B-Cycle makes even more sense. Yes, absolutely. Uh, as the infrastructure continues to improve, people feel safer on bikes, um, and we, we put our stations specifically in areas where there is good infrastructure for cycling, and people can feel comfortable on a bike even if they don't bike regularly. You guys have 90 stations and counting, over 900 bikes. Which is your most popular station? Where this, do people gather the most? So we're getting to 90. That's part of our expansion. We'll be there by the end of next year, but currently our busiest station is at Sabine Bridge at Buffalo Bayou Park. I know where yep. that is. Yes. By that food truck park. Yeah. Right yeah. by the cistern there. And, uh, yeah. and another very, very popular one is at Crawford Island, right in front of the Marriott Marquis at Avenida. Uh. It is such a great idea. And again, it is pretty foolproof because even if you have never tried this, guys, it is so worth going down. Mm -hmm. The kiosk will walk you right through it. You don't have to worry about signing up for anything. So it is a, a must, must visit. How fast can you go on this? Pretty fast. Curious. We actually are going to be doing B-Cycle races at the next Memorial Park Criterium what? race. So on we'll this? see who can set a new record on it. But it's, it's a pretty user-friendly bike. They're a little heavy, but they're a lot of fun. Is there a bell on this thing? There is. Every you single bike has a bell. A bell a basket to carry anything you may have with you. They're each three speeds, so... Love it. Yeah. It's very Three's Company. Do you yes. know what I'm talking about? I love it. The only thing it's missing is a puppy to go in the basket. <gasps> we have we that coming oh, up. Actually, we might have that we coming do. up. Kristen, thank you so thank much you for, for stopping thank by. You. Yeah, and we're going to come out and ride your bike and do a little video right. very, very soon. <laughs> hey, for more info, you can check out AvenidaHouston.com. And, folks, if you are looking to escape the heat this weekend and see a great show, we've got you covered. Remember the 1989 film, Heathers? I do. Yeah, about three very mean high school girls who pushed a misfit a little too far. Mm -hmm. Well, the musical adaptation is at Obsidian Theater this weekend. Tickets start at just 15 bucks, and, oh, my gosh, we have to go see this. Yes. Hey, are y'all ready for the face-off? It is a real face-off. Star Trek versus Star Wars. It's going to go head-to-head -head this Saturday morning for the ultimate throwdown. Guests are encouraged to dress up as their favorite Star Trek. Yes. Or, you know what, favorite Star Wars characters. There's going to even be special appearances by your favorite characters. Check out cmh.org to pre-register to make your own customized, customized fidget spinner. A what? Okay. Customized fidget spinner. It all starts Saturday morning at 10 a.m. at the Children's Museum. Ah, uh, custom fidget spinner. I don't not to love. Hey, on Saturday night, how about enjoying some contemporary art along with live music and drinks? Conception Arts presents their contemporary art show starting at 5 p.m. on Hirsch Road. There you can buy work directly from local artists at the tipping point of their careers. Info is online at conceptionarts.com. All right, so in February of this year, the Houston SPCA's cruelty investigations team responded to a location where, get this, more than 40, 40 animals were being kept in inhumane conditions. Uh, Mandy was one of those pets rescued that day. Despite her crowded and really stressful surroundings, Mandy proved to be a sweet and really easy dog. She finally got the care she needed at the Houston SPCA 
while her court case was resolved. Yeah, meanwhile, a couple down in Sugar Land, Debbie and her husband, they'd recently lost one of their beloved dogs to old age, and their remaining dog, Kiwi, was feeling lost and a bit lonely. They saw Mandy on the website, so they decided to pay her a visit, and as luck would have it, Mandy was being walked by a volunteer when they pulled up into the parking lot. It was love at first sight. Yeah, I know. Look at that face. After only a week of settling into her new home, Mandy's new, new owners say they feel like she's always been part of their family. What a cutie. I love the professional dog photos, too. <laughs> and joining us now, a prom, pose. <laughs> a, a prom photo right there. <laughs> joining us now from the Houston SPCA is Lisa Tynan, and along with five-year-old cutie, miniature poodle, yeah. Jackson. This is Jackson. Hey, Jackson. Jackson is super friendly. He's a, he, he's a people person. He, oh my that gosh, dog. he loves people. He loves to be held. He crosses his paws so daintily. He really does. You hold him oh, every time. It's, a, it's actually kind of Aww. perfect. Um, and he's only five years old, yeah. so he's got a really long life ahead of him. His family just couldn't afford to care for him, but oh. he is so loving. He loves people. He probably would prefer to be your only pet. Um, okay. He loves attention, so he wants to uh, he wants to have all of it at all times. He's so regal there with he his little so paws regal. crossed. Is yes. he always this uh, subdued? No. Okay. okay. I haven't heard him bark, and there's a lot of people <laughs> around here. He likes this attention. He's very energetic, very playful. So he, if you give him a toy, he will run around with it and make you oh, laugh with his antics. He is so cute. Lisa, thank you thank so much. You. Good luck, sweetheart. And for all of you wondering how to adopt little Jackson or for more information on how you can adopt other furry friends, you can always visit HoustonSPCA.org. We're going to be right back with more Houston Life. Jackson, you're <laughs> such a...